Hello and welcome to your 20 minute lower body workout. I'm super excited to get started. Today we're doing five different moves. We're gonna do each move 40 seconds with a 20 second rest. We're gonna do the move three times and then you're gonna get a one minute transition. And so we're gonna do that for five different moves. Let's get warmed up and get started. So the first thing we are going to do is we're gonna start with some jumping jacks. So get that blood flowing, get moving. If you cannot do jumping jacks, you can simply tap your foot out to the side while still raising your hands and arms over your head. Whatever works for you. We're gonna do about 10 more seconds of jumping jacks. Awesome, all right. The next move is we're simply gonna go into a squat, weightless squat. So just sit back, up. You wanna sit back on those heels. Your toes are gonna come up just a little bit. Try to get your thighs parallel, your legs, thighs parallel to the floor. If you cannot do a squat, you can always just do a wall sit for an isometric hold. That is fine too. But remember, you want your knees behind your toes and you really wanna sit back. You can also get a chair to help you with this so you can sit back into that chair. Chest up, head up, great. Give me a couple more squats. Three, two, one, perfect. Now we're gonna do something that's called a good morning. So you're gonna put your hands behind your head and you're simply going to be hinging at the hips, slight bend in the knees, feet, shoulder width apart, spine straight, come up, bend down. You're gonna feel this in your hamstrings and in your glutes. If you have pressure in your low back, you're not hinging at the hips enough, you're rounding your back and bending forward, so make sure you're hinging at those hips. Great, keep doing those, and I'm gonna demo the first move. So the first move is a deadlift. I have 20 pound weights here for me. Do what works for you. We're gonna be continuing that same move, such as that good morning with our weights, and we are just going to be bending at the hips, feet shoulder width apart, leaning back on those heels, coming down to mid calf, and up. Uh, you're gonna squeeze those glutes. You're not gonna squeeze them forward, you wanna squeeze them standing tall, okay? You don't wanna put pressure on that lower back. We're gonna start in 10 seconds. If you wanna do it without weights, that's a modification. Here we go in three, two, one. Make sure you're squeezing on the way up, hinging at the hips, sitting that butt back. You wanna sit that butt back towards the wall like you're trying to touch the wall with your butt. Make sure you keep a straight spine, flat back. And it's really about your form. So we're in no rush here. We're doing this three times. Push off those heels. Here we go, 10 seconds. Keep those weights close to your body on your way down, five. Three, two, one. Great job, you can put those weights down. You have about a 20 second recovery. We're gonna do that two more times, then you have a one minute rest while I demo the next move. You're doing great. So you should definitely be feeling it in your hamstrings and in your glutes. All right, five seconds, pick those weights up. Here we go, two, one. Now, if this is really easy for you, make sure you up your weights. And no swinging, you don't wanna drop the weights down, you really wanna resist that gravity and pull up through those glutes. I can't <laughs> enforce that enough. Great job. Keep it going. Don't let your mind get in the way of your strength. You've got this five, three, two, one, awesome. Put those weights down. Another 20 second rest. We're gonna do one more round and we're done with that move and we're on to the next move. So grab a sip of water, towel off if you need to. Do a little dance. All right, we're going in three. Get those weights, two, one. 
great. Slow controlled motion. I'll turn around so you can see from the side. Make sure you keep those shoulders back. You don't want those shoulders falling forward. You really want those shoulders back, squeezing those shoulder blades. And also, keep, a, keep an eye on the weights you're using. Remember what size weights you're using. So the next time you do this exercise, four, three, two, one. So the next time you do this exercise, you can see how you progressed with the weights. So I always like to tell people to jot the weights down and uh, go back to see what they did in the past and if they've progressed. All right, you have one minute rest, transition time while I demo the next move. The next move is a goblet squat. So you're gonna pick up a heavier weight. I got my 20 pound weight and you can hold it right here in close to your chest in between your two hands. You can also hold it down here with both hands, whatever works best for you. I prefer holding it up here by my chest. And if you hold it up here by your chest, you want it close into your chest. You don't want to be holding it out here. And so we're doing just what we did in the warm up, just a squat back. You want to stay on your heels, sit down into the squat, push up through the heels, squeeze your glutes and your hammies. You want to squeeze up, not in. You don't want to be arching that back or swinging, putting pressure on that lower back. Sit down, up, down, up. Here we go, we're going in five seconds. If you can't do this move, you can sit against the wall, the wall sit, whatever works for you. Good job. If you're doing it the other way, it looks just like so. Your legs are a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. You're keeping your chest up, your head up. You don't want to be, you don't want to be leaning forward. You want that chest up and that spine straight. You've got 10 more seconds. Push up straight through those heels. Five, three, two, one. Put your weight down. You have a 20 second rest. Grab some water. Again, the next time you do this exercise, I want you to try to go up in weight. Okay, we're at three, two, one, get her done. Remember, try not to drop that chest. Keep that weight close to your body. I can hear my knees crackling like Velcro. If you're having pressure in that lower back, make sure that you're sitting back, like you're sitting into a chair. Again, if you need to get a chair, you can do so. Three, two, one. Good job. Put that weight down. 20 second break. Do that move one more time. You have a one minute transition. And then we're on to the next move. Getting a full lower body workout here today. Great job showing up. We got. Three, two, one. Let's go. Woohoo! You've got this. Remember, exhale on the exertion. So you're gonna inhale going down. Inhale the good shit. Exhale the bad shit. Inhale. You can use your breath to power up. Good job. Here we go. Less than 10 seconds. Feel that booty burn. Five, three, two, one. Put that weight down. One minute transition. For the next move, we're doing a lateral lunge. So you can do this with a set of dumbbells or without. Uh, so I'm gonna use my 15 pound dumbbells for this and I can demo it both ways. Stand in the middle of your mat and you are going to simply step out laterally to the right side. You're gonna bring your dumbbell in your left hand 
in between your legs, your dumbbell on the right hand to the side, and you're gonna lunge, keep your chest up, push off that leg, that lateral leg, come out to the other side, chest up, push off that leg. You're using all your power in the leg that's coming out. Your leg that is standing in the center is just for balance. We're going in three, two, one. If you wanna do it without your weights, just simply hold your hands right near your chest, come out, sit that butt back, chest up, push off that leg. You don't need to be as dramatic as that, but I'm just showing you that that's where the power comes from. Sit your butt back, lean forward. Now, if that movement side to side is too hard, you can always just stay in that lateral lunge and come up and then lean into it again and come up. So that's another modification for you to make it a little bit easier. You got three, two, one. If you stay on one side, it's gonna be a little off with the transitioning because we're going left to right, left to right. Just try to even it out somehow, like maybe go half of it left side, half right side. Uh, whatever works for you. All right, I'm gonna get my weights again. Two, one. And you can always go lighter on the weights, but don't self-sabotage. If you know that it's too easy, get out of your comfort zone and go up in weight. The last couple of reps of this should not be easy. You should be feeling it for sure. All right, six, three, give me one more. Good job. 20 second break, get some water. I had my dogs down here in my basement to film a reel and there's dust all in the concrete. And they walked all over my mats. <laughs> now I've got little dog prints on there. It's so cute. All right, here we go. Oops, I started on the left. It doesn't matter. This is our last round of our lateral lunges. Inhale, exhale on the exertion. Inhale. Get your butt back. Good job, we're almost there. You're doing awesome. Keep it up. Five, four, give me one more. Three, two, one, Woo. All right. Take a minute to break. I'm gonna show you the next move. Your heart rate should be up there. I'm out of breath. So the next move is a glute bridge. So you're gonna get on your back. And you can do this with a weight or without. I'll show you both. I'm gonna take my heavy weight. You're gonna put it right down by your hips. And you're gonna put your feet flat on the ground. And you're simply going to just push off your feet, squeeze your glutes, Come down one vertebrae at a time. You wanna keep your, your back flat on the floor. Like someone's about to drop something on your belly. You're gonna make sure that it stays flat on the floor once you're down. Push up and down. Now, sometimes it makes it easier if you lift your toes. You can push off those heels, get a little bit more height. You can do it that way. We're starting in three, two, one, go. You can also do it without a weight. Put your hands on your hips if you want, or you can put them out by your side. If they're out by your side, try not to use your arms to lift you up. You wanna use it all in your lower body, in those glutes, and in your hamstrings. So whatever your preference is, you can do. Good job. Make sure you're pausing at the top so you're really squeezing those butt cheeks. <laughs> I love that. Oh, three, two, one. Good, give me a rest. I love that Adrian says, if you don't squeeze your glutes, no one else will. 
Those Peloton instructors have all kinds of great quotes and sayings. I really love them. All right, we're gonna go in five, four, three, two, one. If you couldn't feel it without the weight, put that weight up on your hips, lift your feet, your toes off the ground, and really push through those heels, squeeze those glutes to the top, and drop down. Good job. Two, one, awesome. If you need to stretch that back, pull your knees into your chest. It's a nice time to give your back a little bit of a stretch here. Doing a lot of work. You can rotate, rock. All right, we're getting started here in three, two, one. Last round for your glute bridge. Make it your best round yet. Push up. Engage that core. You're still using your core here. You're always using your core for stability to protect that back. Four, three, two, one. Good job. All right. We got our last exercise. And I know we've done a lot of work squatting and uh, on our glutes and, and our legs, but that's the whole point of this workout. It's a lower body workout. So we are doing a sumo squat. So there's many variations with weights. Sumo squat, you can either use two weights, one weight. What a sumo squat is, is you're getting down like a sumo wrestler, right? So you're spreading your legs out. Your toes are about at two and 10, maybe. 12 one, I would say. And you're simply coming down into a squat, pushing up through your heels, sitting that butt back just a little bit. You don't wanna be leaning forward. You wanna go straight down. You're gonna feel this in your adductors. Okay, these muscles on the insides of your legs. We're going in three, two, one. I'm gonna show you the other modification. You can hold the weight right like this, just down the middle. You can also do a sumo goblet squat and hold the weight right here. Okay, so any of those variations, you can also do it with no weights. So you can just hold it just like this. If you're advanced and you wanna level up, you can give me a few pulses at the bottom to just to give yourself a little bit of a harder, a bigger challenge. So weights, one weight, two weights, no weights, all weights, three, two, one. Good job, put that weight down. You got a 20 second break. Good job, we're almost done. We've got two more rounds and uh, we're out of here. See how quick it is? All right, here we go, three seconds. Let's go. I'm gonna use both my weights. Remember, chest up. Make sure you're not rounding that spine and falling forward. You wanna keep your chest and head up. Look at me. <laughs> Don't look at your weights. <laughs> Smile. We didn't do much dancing in this workout. Squeeze those glutes at the top. Inhale, exhale coming up. Inhale. Use that breath for movement. You got three, two, one. Good job. All right, dance. <laughs> Gotta get one dance move in here, right? 10 more seconds and we are done. We'll do a quick stretch. I highly recommend you stretch afterwards too. Let's go, two, one. Your last 40 seconds. Make sure those feet are out. You're on those heels. Woo. 
Whew. Don't forget you can do it up here. If you're doing it from up here, just like that sumo, that goblet squat, weight in close to your chest. All right, four, three, two, one. Woohoo! You did it. Great job. We are all done. High five. Let's do a little stretch here. Oh, man, I'm gonna catch my breath for a second. All right, let's get down on the floor. Cross your, let's start with the right. Cross your right leg over your left. Give a little squeeze. Feel it stretch all through here. Oh. All right, switch legs. You did great. How'd that feel? Let me know how it felt, how you like this class. Oh, I'm gonna be sore tomorrow. I know that for sure. Great. Oh, shake those legs out. Good job. Get into child's pose. Stretch that back. Oh, you can rock side to side. <sighs> Sit up, go back in the child's pose. Drop that head. So often we forget how tense we are holding our heads up putting that pressure on our neck muscles. Just re try to relax that head into the floor. Relax those shoulders. Good. Now, I'm gonna have you just put your, do a little runner's lunge, put your right leg out between your hands and just sit into that front leg. Untuck those toes. Feel that stretch. Now, if you wanna get your right hand and push on the inside of this right knee, just to get a deeper stretch, more muscles involved here. You can push on that leg. Good, switch legs. Up here, again, untuck those toes, lean forward. Give this a little stretch here. Get that left hand, push into that left knee. All right, great job everyone. Thanks for showing up today. Have an awesome rest of your day and I'll see you later. High five. <laughs>